Hey, fellow ASLers and hopefully future Vassalers. Um, I'm going to put together a new series calling Vassal, called Vassal 101. Um, there's been a lot of interest lately. I mean, Vassal's been around for quite a long time, but because of this whole um, coronavirus thing um, and people, um, social distancing, and it looks like there's a lot of activity of people playing more games online and on Vassal. Um, I thought I'd put together a series of videos to show how to basically go from installing Vassal to um, configuring it to loading scenarios, um, how to set up overlays, how to build scenarios and orders of battle, and navigate through the menu system. I figure I would have the videos will be short, short little segments. There'll be, you know, episode one, which will be this episode showing how to install Vassal and what it is. Um, uh, I figure each each uh, episode will be, you know, five, ten minutes to give you the basics and step you through um, how to go from being maybe a little leery of, you know, online technology and playing uh, advanced squad leader over the internet to becoming proficient and embracing it because Vassal is extremely powerful. It's helped me and a buddy, old high school buddy, reconnect um, playing squad leader starting this year. And we're playing our, actually our 10th scenario, I think tomorrow morning. So it's really helped connect a lot of people, and I hope it helps you become more active playing ASL and connect with friends or past players or new players, or whatever it is. Um, it's a great tool. So let's uh, let's jump right in. Um, there are basically three steps to installing Vassal. Uh, let me show you what the an overview of what the environment sort of looks like. <clears throat> um, there are essentially three parts to getting Vassal to run. Um, there's the client side Java environment. There's the Vassal engine itself, not to be confused with the VASL module, which is the virtual advanced squad leader module. Um, and then there's the modules themselves. And you essentially need, need to install them in, in that order. Uh, Java, the Vassal engine, and the virtual advanced squad leader module. Um, so if we look at the blue outline here, that's essentially your computer running uh, on the Java environment. It's the program language needed or the interpreter needed to run the Vassal engine and for the Vassal module to plug into the Vassal engine. I may, I may be getting the technical parts of this wrong, the detail parts of it, but this overview is generally how it works. So once you've got the Java environment installed, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, um, you can install the Vassal engine. And the Vassal engine is basically a virtual board game engine, but the Vassal engine can do nothing without game modules that plug into it, which are shown here on the left. Um, and the red one is the one we're interested in. Um, virtual advanced squad leader. So the third part of that is you need to download the Vassal virtual advanced squad leader module that basically plugs in and connects to the Vassal engine that allows you to play squad leader through the Vassal engine, connect to the Vassal server, which then allows you to connect to online opponents, which are shown over on the right. <clears throat> of course, you could choose to um, not even connect to the server, and you could use Vassal to play games on your computer um, without having to set up all the components on a table, which sometimes is more convenient. You don't have to worry about cats or kids or whatever messing with your setup. So you can just, you know, have a save game file and load it back up and play it when, whenever you want for as long as you want. But the most powerful part of this is being able to connect with other players online anywhere in the world at any time um, by this three-step setup. Installing Java, installing the Vassal engine, installing the Vassal module. Now, I show here a few examples of other modules. There's probably, I don't know, thousands. I'll, I'll show you here in a minute of modules you can plug in. You could install a Panzer Leader module and play Panzer Leader with somebody, Risk, Monopoly, Yahtzee, um, a whole list of 
war games, hex encounter based war games that you could play. Uh, and I'll show you those that show you those in a minute. So the next thing you do, so three steps here. Let's go to the first one. Um, you need to install Java. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it. You basically just go to Java, java.com, um, click the download link and agree and start your free download. Once it downloads, run it, follow the instructions. It's pretty simple. You don't really have to configure a, a whole lot. I think it installs to its own default directory under your under the programs directory sets up the environment so any program that needs Java will find it and be able to run it. Um, the third, sorry, the second part of that is the Vassal engine. And the website for that is uh, shown here. Uh, each one is shown here, vassalengine.org. You go here, you click on the most current version is 3.2.17. Click it, download it. But before I do that, I'm going to show you some other things on the website here. Uh, so let me show you some of the modules that you can get here. Um, here's the, they're sorted by alphabetical pages. So I'm on, I guess, the numbers page and A here. So if you wanted to play, I'm not sure Vassal's under V or Advanced Squad here. Let's look down here, see where it is. Uh, yeah, advanced squad leader. Um, oh, yeah, actually, that's funny. They have the advanced Tobruk system as well, a module for that. I did not know that. Um, but if you wanted to play like Panzer Leader or Panzer Blitz, for example, fairly popular um, older hex encounter game, you just hit the P, got Panzer Leader, Panzer Blitz. You can see all just under P through S, there's, oh, I don't know couple hundred here of different games that you can download, including Pizza World, whatever that is. Um, so let's go back to the main Vassal page and let's uh, let's download that. Uh, it takes you to some download, SourceForge for download. Go ahead and save that. And I don't know where it's going to save this. Okay, here's where it saved it. I'll come back to that. Um, let me, I already have Vassal installed. Let me see if I can install another instance in a different directory without it hosing things up. If it hoses it up, I can fix it after the video. Uh, I've installed this a bunch of times. Uh, let's see, Vassal, most common options, choose image. I, what, I've never done the custom. Let's take a look. Uh, I may have this. In, I might have to put this in a different directory. Programs. Yeah, I've got it there already. Let's do. Let's just. I'm just going to put an X in front of it. Uh, uh, you can just install it to the base directory because you, you probably don't already have it installed, but let me just do this. Uh, you can choose to put shortcuts on your desktop in your start menu or if you have a quick launch bar. Uh, I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. Go ahead and install that. Uh, I'm not going to run it right now. I'm going to go get the, let me delete this. Otherwise I'll forget it's there. Now that we've got the engine installed, we need to go back and get the Vassal module, the squad leader part of it that will plug in to the engine. And that's at Vassal uh, dot info. And I've already got that uh, loaded up in a window here. It looks like this. Uh, you can go to the download section here. The most current version will be at the top. Uh, current version is 6.4.4. Um, you can also get boards here, but I believe if you set up a scenario in Vassal, it'll automatically download the boards for you if you don't want to go grab them manually. Uh, let's see, let's save that. Oh, I'm going to have to.
Uh, it's a zip file. Let's unzip it. Uh, let me just dump it on my, oops, dump it on my desktop here. Okay. I'll delete that. Yes, because I'll forget. Um, you can put the the VMOD, the Vassal module, anywhere you want. Um, the Vassal engine program is going to be in your programs directory on your C drive, but you can set up a, a file structure for your Vassal save games and boards wherever you want. Uh, for this example, I'm just having I'm just going to put it on the uh, on my desktop. So after that, let's run. Go ahead and run Vassal. Let me get rid of that. So go file, open module. And you can see it's doing some kind of build, building things out. Boards, counters, and there you go. So now the module's installed and it just ran the Vassal engine and loaded the Vassal module. So let me totally quit out of here. Totally exit. Open, open module, not uh, import module. Open. Uh, let's run. Let's go ahead and run. If I can grab the right thing. Run the Vassal engine. Uh, now you can see Vassal's installed. So the run Vassal, you have that module installed. Module installed. Just double click it now. And it'll load up the module. Um, and here's where we'll, we'll end this video. So the next video, I'll show you how to start new games or load a new game um, or look for a game online, um, which are the, basically the three options here. Start a new game offline, um, look for a game online, or load a previously saved game. Um, you can start all games offline because you can join the Vassal server once you're in the game, I'll, let me load just real quick. I'll just load a save game that I've got going on. Um, save game load. Um, here's the scenario we're playing tomorrow um, versus my buddy Scott. I'll load that up. This is it's already cut popping up with the window um, to the directory that I've been working in. You would have to navigate to a window if you're opening a save game. So let me just open this up. So it's loaded, then you hit finish once it finishes loading. And it should pop up in the, the Vassal module. And here's what it looks like. So fairly simple. I'm playing the Americans tomorrow. That's my setup. I have no idea how good it is. We'll find out. Um, so this is where we'll end it. Uh, next time, I'll show you in a little more detail on how to load scenarios or maybe even find pre-existing scenarios and how to connect to a, the server or how to connect to a, somebody else who's online and create rooms and that sort of thing. So if uh, you want to see something else included in these future videos, leave a comment below um, or if you have any comments in general. Uh, hopefully, I find this you find this useful and we can get some more people um, fired up about joining in playing Vassal games online. There's been a lot of activity late, lately because of, again, this isolation thing that's going on. And I think there was a tournament going on this weekend, but it's been great to go into Vassal and see, you know, 20, 40 games going on in different rooms. That's really great. So until next time, roll low.